Hello, everybody, and welcome to a vlog type thing. I don't know. I, yeah, I guess technically it is a vlog. It's like the definition of the word vlog. It's a video blog kind of thing. And yes, this is me. This is actually me. Hi. Yes. Hello. Um, and that's my cat. She kind of got freaked out when I said hello, everybody. But uh, yeah, she's cute. She's taking a nap like she normally does. The other cat ran off as I started setting up everything. So I don't know where she, where she went, so whatever. Um, so I haven't been putting up videos for the past couple of days. And the main reason for that is that I've been extremely busy. Um, we, uh, well, we basically, I said this in one of the videos. I think, I'm fairly sure I said this in one of the videos. Uh, where w w my dad had this idea and it was one of those things is like, it's going to take 80 hours to make uh, to, to to do and we had three days to do it in and we did it in four uh, <laughs> but we did it in time so it worked uh we we got it taken care of and everything's good and it worked out really well uh but uh then we're taking this idea and we're forking it into a bunch of other different things and all that fun crap and it so I'm going to be very, very busy for a while. I'm going to try to do videos, but to be perfectly honest with you, I'm getting a little bored with Quest for Creative. It's it's a little weird. Um, well, I I kind of I've kind of done everything. I, I I haven't actually left my little spot, except to go to the Nether to get the uh, the, the Wither Skeleton, and every now and then to get uh, uh, Gas Tears. And I could get gas tears at any time. But the same exact way I get wither skulls now. So I'm a little bored with it, to be perfectly honest. Um, I don't want to stop it. I don't want to end it. But I'm being distracted. I have my picture uh, uh, right behind the camera so I can look at myself and look at the camera and actually like look at you guys. Um, you know, the eye contact thing, it's, it's very important, but I can see what's going on behind me and, uh, I'm looking in that direction, but I know it's over there. Uh, that right there, the cat looking out the window. She does that when it's night. I put the blind, I'm pointing in the wrong direction. I don't have it mirrored or anything. Um, I put the blinds down because uh, at night just to keep the bugs away. Um, yeah, that's, that's. Pretty much the only reason I put the blinds down. I don't put them down because you're supposed to put them down at night. I put them down because the bugs aren't attracted to the lights. Which, I'm sorry about the shitty lighting. Um, I haven't had a chance to get a good fill light yet. Um, I also haven't had a chance to get a haircut yet, but eh, it's fine. Um, so, I'm getting a lot of glare. That way. <laughs> I'll get used to this whole reverse thing eventually. And, uh, and right there in the picture it's that's where the light is um that's the only light i have in this room that's the only light i can get in this room uh yeah i can get other lights in the room but they'd be even more yellow so it's yeah it doesn't work all that well and i can't do it while the sun's out um because well one we'd have the glare over here and two my neighbors really like mowing their lawn and i mean really like mowing their lawn it is ridiculous how much they mow their lawn i don't i don't put it against them or anything like that but they they just mow their lawn a lot and it's really loud uh which is why i have big honking headphones and uh so i can't record when they're mowing their lawns uh, yeah, yeah it's just things i have to deal with and it's it's nothing major i have yeah uh, so I'm doing this vloggy thingy and I think I was distracted before the cat. Um, I was saying something. I don't remember what it was. Oh, I was saying that, uh, I do intend on keep, go keep going with the quest for creative, but I've been a little bored with it. So I haven't even like logged into the server for a while. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, though I can tell you, I am the richest bastard on that server. Granted, that's not saying a lot, but, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of crap on that server because it's still going. I did the whole uh, uh, pop it shelves thing uh, in like each chunk. Uh, so I have like everything. They just kind of keep going. Um, 
but I think I do have a problem, and I think I fixed it, but I'm not 100% sure. The problem is that in the Attack of the Bee Team mod pack, there are tornadoes, like actual tornadoes. And I think, I, I don't know about this, but I think uh, the, the, the default settings have the damage for the tornadoes turned off. Because that's how I see it on like uh, B00's videos when I watch them. Uh, the, the tornado will go by, but it won't damage anything. However, it will pick up mobs. Like, it will pick up villagers, and it will pick up sheep, and all that fun stuff. And I think it's killing the sheep from my sheep farm. Yeah. <laughs> kind of annoying. I had to restock the sheep farm. But I put hardened glass over top of the sheep farm, and they're still sticking around. My cows are still disappearing, but uh, I just have to... Yeah, cover them up. Oh, there's both the kitties. Hi, kitties. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I haven't had a, really had a chance, even if I really wanted to, I haven't really had a chance to get onto the server. So I haven't had a chance to plan anything and, and, and like, set up another episode for it. So those episodes are probably going to start becoming fewer and farther between. Um, however, I do have ideas. I don't want to leave you guys hanging on the videos. One, I want to do the vlog thing because I'm, I want to get my ideas out there and I can't do that. I cannot do that when I'm playing the game. As you can see, I talk with my hands a lot and, uh, you can't, you know, control the mouse and type and all that crap while you talk with your hands. It doesn't work. Uh, so I keep getting distracted by things that are moving. I'll get used to this vlog thing eventually, I swear. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, so what was I saying? I totally forget what I was saying. I do that a lot. I just, poof, gone. Whatever. Uh, so let's get to the point of this actual vlog. I wanted to throw this idea out there because it's actually kind of pissing me off a lot. And that is advertisements. Okay, now I'm going to start off with, I do have a partnership with YouTube. It actually specifically says on my channel, YouTube partner. And uh, so I get advertisement resonue, revenue from the commercials you guys watch. Um, but my monetizable views versus my actual views are terrible, just absolutely terrible terrible like we're talking if i get 100 views in a day which i know is shit to begin with i maybe get i don't know six seven eight maybe views that are monetizable so we're talking less than 10 percent monetizable so it's just terrible uh now i could bitch and complain about the people using ad block because i mean seriously don't you want the free you know, the, the, you're getting free content you can't spend your time but i'm not going to because that is a symptom of the problem. That's not the problem. That's a symptom of the problem. The problem is the advertisements, not the people watching them. And, and let me explain. So I've been paying attention to the advertisements on YouTube for a while now. Uh, mostly because I want to know what you guys are going through. <laughs> if you go through them, I mean, you might use Adblock. You might be one of those that use Adblock. And you know what? Uh, honestly, it doesn't terribly bother me okay a little bit it does but eh, i'm not gonna be begging you or anything like that uh but i do watch the videos on youtube because i feel that the people that make the videos should get supported and i can't donate to these people because these people don't have donation pages because there's a lot of bullshit that goes along in donation pages and there's actually even more bullshit going along with the, the whole minecraft and the one programmer dude that i can't remember the name of is grub something like that i don't know uh so i'm staying out of that for right now uh but i wouldn't be doing the donation thing anyways because there's a lot of crap about people stealing their parents credit cards and i'm just not dealing with that i knew not going to deal with that so I, I i go exclusively for the ad revenue because you guys aren't losing anything except for your time and I gain. So I, I count that as a win. But um, like I said, 
I'm not begging you guys to turn off Adblock Plus because that is just a symptom to the problem. The problem is the advertisements themselves. And I'll give you an example. There is the there are two of them. There's these two commercials that I see constantly, and it makes me want to freak out. I hate these commercials. It's this. You'll know the commercials at the second I describe the guy in the commercial, and it's it's this really really buff Asian looking guy, um, and he starts out. You know, one of his commercials starts out, you know, there is one muscle that is scientifically proven to attract women. And, uh, I mean, the commercial itself is just outright stupid. If you know anything about biology or actual exercise, you'll realize this guy's full of shit straight up. Um, if you actually give two shits about the opposite sex it, from either direction, you'll know this guy is a sexist bastard, too. Um, but... <laughs> The commercial is five minutes long, and he's got two of them. And the second one starts out with him sitting there fucking being a pig on his giant-ass food. And he's also got a really, really freaking large bottle of A1 and a really, really giant jar of peanut butter for some strange reason. You don't normally expect A1 and peanut butter to be on the same dinner table. I don't know. Maybe it's a southern thing. I have no idea. Um, so I, I'm... Starting to think that this guy's not actually as big as he looks on the screen, but you know, you don't actually get full, you know, perspective or anything like that. So I don't know. Um, wouldn't want to meet the guy in a dark alley with with him pissed off at me or anything. But uh, and I'm not calling him an idiot because I th actually think he's really intelligent for pulling off this kind of commercials. I think his commercials are stupid. Um, because one, he's saying that to get women you have to have rock hard apps you have to have the washboard apps um bullshit for one um uh, not all women work the same they're all different yes i'm sure there are women out there who look at your abs before they look at anything else but not all women are the same they're they're, they're people they're they're all different every single one of them it, and it just pisses me off when i see anything like that just distilled down into something that's just bullshit it annoys the hell out of me um and i'll give you another perfect example he talks about how walking on the treadmill is not going to get you good abs yeah that, that's absolutely true walking on the treadmill will not get you good abs however walking on the treadmill was never supposed to get you good abs <sighs> what re really bothers me about this kind of thing is that it works well enough that he keeps buying advertisement time, and it annoys the hell out of me. Uh, but, uh, you know, a bunch of people out there will probably be going, well, why don't you just hit the skip button? I mean, I've seen these commercials. There's a skip button right there on the video. Technically, for you guys, it'd be right about here on the video. Well, the reason I don't hit the skip button is because there's something that I heard recently from one of the bigger YouTubers, and I tend to listen to them because they tend to know what they're talking about. And that is, if they hit the skip button, the, the, the YouTuber doesn't get the ad revenue. Now, I don't know if that's 100% true for two reasons. One, because I'm fairly sure when I read my terms of service... Um, hi, Kitty. When I read my terms of service... They did say that I wouldn't be getting as much revenue if somebody hits the skip button, but I would be getting something. Uh, and two, if that were true, and if you hit the skip button, you get, well, free advertisement, um, then that's insanely easy to game the system. Now, I put this, I, I did put this entire rant up on my G Plus page, but pff, nobody reads it. Well, Hellbreacher does. I, he caught he he made a reference to that, so I'm fairly sure he does, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want free advertisements on YouTube, and this whole skip thing is true, if you skip the video, the view the the advertiser doesn't have to pay at all. If that's true, then it's insanely simple to gain the system because all you have to do is make a 37 minute long commercial. And you have five minutes of a or five seconds of captive audience to get your point across. And then they hit the skip button. 
and you don't have to pay a cent. So you get free advertisement and it just keeps going because that's how YouTube works. YouTube uh, uh, takes the money as, you know, it gives out the money. So if you put in $100 into AdSense, they don't take out the money from AdSense until they actually have a view, which is actually kind of cool. I like how YouTube does that. But it, so this YouTube, Google, they're intelligent. They're smart. They know what they're doing. So that's why I don't think that this whole skip thing is 100% true. But because I heard it from people who know more than I do, I have to take it as a possibility, a distinct possibility. So I've been watching these commercials. And for the record, that 37-minute long commercial that actually happened, um, which was kind of hilarious, it was a 37-minute long commercial in front of a video that I was watching that was 27 minutes long. The commercial was 10 minutes longer than the fucking video. I'm sorry, that's not how you do advertisements. Um, I actually left that running in the background, opened up another window, went back to the same video, <laughs> and watched it with a 30-second commercial. And... That pretty much comes down to it. I mean, if, if we're dealing with commercials that are 35 bloody minutes long with the possibility that the YouTuber is not going to get paid for it, then what's the point of watching the advertisement to begin with? There's, there it really is no point. Um, so we've been trained, us, we've all been trained to ignore advertisements. Uh, I mean, from cable, f uh, in... Well, I would say newspaper, but seriously, how many people actually read the newspaper nowadays? I do every once in a great while if I'm sitting around somewhere and there happens to be a newspaper there and I'm bored out of my skull and my don't have my phone for some reason, I'll read a newspaper. But, I mean, seriously, how many people actually read the newspaper anymore? Uh, but we see advertisements anywhere. They're on billboards. They're, they're everywhere. Uh, it just drives everybody nuts. And some websites are so bad with advertisements. The only way to view the page at all is with Adblock Plus and no script. Um, so it's because of advertisers that I have an 8% monetizable rate. And I'm not the only one. I've heard rants like this from other much larger YouTubers, and their rates aren't much better. Um, so, I mean, think about it. Okay, Nerd Cubed, for example, has like, what, 1.5 million subscribers? He gets hundreds of thousands of views on his freaking videos. Now, imagine if every single one of them was actually monetizable. Dude would be rich. <laughs> it's crazy. But... To do that, the advertisers have to get their heads out their asses, and they have to make shorter commercials, or at least intelligent and interesting commercials, and that's the big, biggest thing. Advertisement is content. As much as people don't want to believe this, advertisements are content, and technically content is advertising, but... It's complicated. I can point you to the website where I read all about that. But uh, advertisement is content. And you have to make the content interesting for people to watch it. If you make it interesting, people are more likely to pay attention to what you're trying to sell. So here's a piece of advice for anybody who's in advertising or anybody who ends up in advertising. If you're going to make a commercial, less than a minute... Uh, as close to 30 seconds as you can get. If you can get away with 15 seconds, if you can get your point across in 15 seconds and you think you can do it successfully, do that. Seriously, the shorter, the better. But I will accept 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, even a minute. A little bit longer than that, okay, but you're pushing it. Uh, but if your commercial is like five minutes long, you have five seconds to catch my attention five seconds okay 
If you can catch my attention in five seconds and keep my attention through the five minutes, rock on. Uh, there you go. But if you can't catch my attention in five seconds, I'm going to be hitting the skip button. <laughs> Most everybody is. I mean, that's just the way it is. And if people are hitting your skip button, yes, okay, you have five free seconds to get your point across, but chances are it's not going to work. Chances are you're going to fail miserably, and yeah. Uh, so you got you to gotta keep it interesting. I mean, why do most people watch the Super Bowl? Do you really think that many people actually give a shit about football? No. Uh, they, a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, watch it for the commercials and the commercials alone. Because these commercials are the multi-million dollar commercials. These are the ones that they spent a year working on to make it interesting and something worthy of the several million dollars they just spent to get advertisement time during the Super Bowl. These are these, I would say these are the good commercials, but uh, that's debatable. Um, but they're at least trying. They're at least doing something. And you don't have to spend millions of dollars to make a good commercial. All you have to have is a good sense of humor, or you have to be interesting. And that's pretty much it. I mean, think about all of the YouTubers out there. How do they? do their thing like all the big youtubers how do they do their thing okay nerd cube is fucking hilarious and i'm gonna straight up say it i keep getting distracted by the cat so if i'm looking away from you guys uh that's why it's because i'm getting distracted by things in the background like i'm my face right there <laughs> um anyways uh so yeah nerd cube is hilarious ashen's I think he's somewhere between hilarious and interesting. He's hard to describe. Um, the uh, the Minecrackers, they're fascinating. I love watching their videos. Uh, Paz? What would you qualify Paz as? I don't know. These people are hard to categorize, really. Uh, there are you know, shades, like, in all the fucking colors. It's, yeah. But, I mean, think about that. You never really know what's going to be interesting, but at least try, okay? Lying to me outright is not going to work because I will catch it, and so will thousands upon thousands upon thousands of others. Plenty of people are going to catch that you're lying out your ass. In fact, most people assume when a commercial comes on that you're lying out your ass already, Okay, they believe correctly, for the record, that you are lying as far as the truth in advertising laws will allow you. And you may not be lying, but they are justified in thinking that because so many others have abused that. So many others have destroyed what advertising was supposed to be. Adver advertising was supposed to be this really rare thing that... Only a few people really needed. Of course, as the world grew, as we got more people, that became harder and harder and harder. So that's why we got more and more advertisements. But, eh. And then, of course, you know, the broadcasting companies got greedy, and then cable got greedy, and now we have more commercials than we have show. And it's spreading to YouTube, but conveniently, most YouTubers are actually pretty cool with it. They have a video at the begin or a commercial at the beginning and a commercial at the end. Um, and uh, yeah, and YouTube won't allow them, I think, to put a commercial more than like in the middle. You could have one commercial in the middle, but to have another commercial in the middle of the video, it has to be at least 30 minutes uh, further down the line. I keep going this way because it's the mirror thing i might actually have to just mirror it um so yeah i mean youtube i call out to you and i know you're not going to listen to me but i call out to you anyways to beg you to put in some requirements 
for the commercials. And I know you can't reco- you can't like judge content, and I don't expect you to. Uh, I do, however, request that you make that you set a hard limit to how long these commercials can be. And I have no idea why the camera is shaking. I'm not actually touching the table. Five minutes, absolute 100% max. Two minutes, yeah, you know what? That's that's perfect. Set it at two minutes. Uh, if you can't get your point across in two minutes, you suck as an advertiser. If you can't get a, your point across in two minutes, make your own damn YouTube channel and have your advertisement points at the damn YouTube channel. <laughs> Simple as that. I mean, the, the 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 trailer video that I have is what a minute fifteen. Really wish I could have cut that down shorter. I do, but I cut that up as much as possible. Um, I mean, at a minute fifteen, and I hate myself for having it that long. So, okay, I've ran it on about this thing for what twenty minutes now. I need to stop. Ugh. So why don't I bitch about the Minecraft thing? I was mentioning about this earlier with the whole, uh, the tweets coming up that saying that you can't monetize crap from Minecraft without their permission. And uh, I don't remember who said it, but I think he went above and beyond what he should have said and what he was allowed to say. Uh, Notch, like the guy we will actually listen to when they say kind of stuff like this, has kept out of it he made an ambiguous remark doesn't actually mean anything he said uh you're not allowed to sell our video game assets that's always been that way duh uh yeah of course uh that's in every single eula but you know what not a single damn eula was designed for what you guys do with minecraft you're gonna have to rethink your eula entirely because no eula covers mods and I'm going to t- say that straight up. No EULA covers mods, especially if they have something like you're not allowed to monetize any th- an asset from the game, and you think that means mods as well? No. No, you don't own mods. Yeah, okay, they can modify your stuff, but they can add their own stuff too, and if they have their own stuff, that's their own damn stuff. It's transformative work. It's copyright. Basic basic copyright of course at this point it's not copyright that's coming into play copyright does is isn't actually involved it's tangent 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 but it's not actually involved it's only eula and uh, contract laws and that kind of crap but there is nothing in your eula that specifically states that you own not only your stuff but you own everybody else's stuff that they built on top of your stuff which after hearing that, I lost a lot of respect for Mojang. Not going to stop me from playing the game, but I have lost respect for them. And that is the first step down the line. Honestly, that is the first step down the line. And I'm sure I'm not alone in that. It's the first step along the path, and yeah. Anyways, uh, so that that's that's ending on a sour note, I guess, and I probably shouldn't have ended on that, but you know what? Whatever. I said what I said, and I'm stuck with what I said, so I will see you guys in whatever the hell I do next. Um, I d- oh, did I mention this, that I had plans? There's a game out there called The Forest. It's like early alpha, and it is buggy as hell, but it looks fun, and I want to play it. I really, really do. I want to play it, but I have no intention of paying the $15 for it until they fix their save bug. Um, like, they, they fixed the first one. The first save bug was that you couldn't save at all. And the new save bug is that you save, you log out, or you close out, you open it back up, go back into your save game, and you don't have any of your stuff. <laughs> Anything that you gather, gone. Uh, which kind of defeats the purpose of saving and can probably qualify as a game-breaking bug. Uh, you can still play it, though. Um, but, I, of course, I follow the whole NerdCube philosophy. Is it worth the money now? Because now is the only thing you're guaranteed to get. 
right now, the answer to that question is no. Definitely not. Not worth not worth fifteen dollars. After they fix the save game bug, maybe. I'll have to think about that. But I want to do that. I have some great ideas for that kind of thing. Even though the game itself is a little bit limited right now, um, I really do hope that they keep going with it. But uh, people have been burned with alphas before, where people would pay for the alpha and then it just gets dropped. And it, yeah, people did well. I would say they get screwed, but they got what they they got what they paid for. I mean, they paid for the alpha. They may have gotten a few updates, and then they got dropped. I mean, that's a risk. Uh, it's it's like gambling, technically. I guess is pretty close. Um, so I don't know. I have to look into that. Uh, it depends on what other bug fixes they have, or whatever they what else what else they added to the game at the time. Uh, but I am waiting for that. I want to keep an eye on it. Uh, I'm enjoying the hell out of Beef Play It. Oh, my cat's screaming outside. Um, but uh, I'm enjoying Beef Play It. Uh, I, I laugh my ass off of it. Uh, generic Beef Play It. That was funny. Uh, and I have a few ideas for it. I'm not going to be doing a Let's Play of it. But I'm thinking I'm going to have some fun with it. Uh, assuming I can ever find information on their monetization policy. Because I'm a little YouTuber. I don't have the clout of the community, basically. Uh, most of the time, I'm getting you know, 25, 26 views on my videos. Uh, yes, I have 646 subscribers. I get 24 views on a video. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for being here. But uh, I like having it written down somewhere that I'm allowed to do this kind of stuff. And I know m the vast majority of game companies in general now nowadays are actually pretty cool with doing it. Uh, as far as I know, if the only one that's really pissy about it right now is Nintendo. Um yeah, I think that's about it, which is hilarious considering Mario Kart 8 actually has the ability to upload videos from the game to YouTube automatically, which kind of sounds like a bait and switch kind of thing, but I'm not going to accuse them of anything. I would assume that the people that made the YouTube decision and the people that made Mario Kart 8 are two completely different groups of people, so I'm just... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just a hell of a coincidence, not actually related. The universe is hardly ever so lazy. Hmm. Sorry, Sherlock flashback. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I prefer to have this stuff in writing, even though I'm fairly sure it would be cool. Uh, I'm actually thinking about emailing them, but I'm waiting until they fix the game and I've actually decided that I do want to pay for it. And I want to decide to pay for it for myself, than for the channel because if i don't want to play it then it's not going to make interesting video because i'm just going to get bored with it and i tend not to like survival horror games like i played amnesia uh there was no subtitle with that yeah i don't think so because the, the second one was like bay of pigs or something like that day of pigs something uh, i don't know but uh the first amnesia game i actually played that i actually recorded it for youtube as well uh, and then I got bored out of my skull. Uh, like, is, this is supposed to be scary? I've just spent two hours playing this damn game, and it, I'm just bored out of my skull. Now, the problem was me. Um, there's, a, there's a lever that you have to pull in the, in the level somewhere that I couldn't find because it was in the dark. Um, and and so I, I ran around this level like a billion times. I have, I still have the damn level memorized. And I could not figure out where I'm supposed to go. And you're supposed to pull this lever and it opens up a secret passage. But I couldn't find the secret lever. It was all hidden in completely black shadow. And you had to use your lantern before you could even see it. But because the lantern is so hard to get fuel for, you don't want to use your lantern all the time. So I didn't. If I was safe, I didn't use the lantern, so I didn't see the switch. So I spent an hour and a half piling up boxes to get 
up through this hole in the ceiling that I found. And I succeeded at doing it too, um, which was kind of entertaining. I don't have the video anymore. I deleted it because it just got boring as crap. Uh, but I did manage to climb up these boxes and I looked out onto the floor of this other room and I saw that the textures for the walls only came down to about what would be about two feet off the floor. And then I, there was nothing. And I'm like, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. And I'm like, okay, so where the hell am I supposed to go then? Because that was the only place that I hadn't been. Uh, and I actually had to look it up on a YouTube video and it turned out to be some secret lever somewhere. And I went through it. And I, at that point, I was just jaded to the game. I tend not to like survival horror games because they're not scary. Uh, the best survival horror game that I've ever seen was Silent Hill. And it, the reason that it was such a good survival horror game was actually because things didn't happen. Uh, the movie, the Silent Hill movie, I know a lot of people consider that to be a terrible movie. I think it is a great horror movie because it's a subliminal horror movie. It's not like the, boo, scary movies like uh, Resident Evil and crap like that. Though I did like the Resident Evil movies. For a different reason, but I like the Resident Evil movies. Uh, the, the Resident Evil games are a perfect example of that. I don't like the Resident Evil games because they're just the jump scares, and jump scares don't entertain me. I like the subtle stuff, the hidden stuff, but Amnesia wasn't that. It, it just bored the hell out of me because I knew the only time I would ever be in danger is if the, I saw the monster... And yeah, I mean, once you see the monster, you just run the other direction. It's just not entertaining. You're not fearful of what's to, what's around the corner because you know that if you see what's around the corner, you just go the other direction. It's nothing really major. And my cat's being in a play, very playful mood. It must be about that time. Yeah, it's about midnight. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's chasing my other cat right here. Say hello to the world, Zelda. He's like, no, screw you. <laughs> yeah, uh, she's in a playful mood, too. They're chasing each other back and forth. Um, but anyways, uh, getting back to the point, I do want to play uh, The Forest because I think I could have some serious fun with that, not because it's a survival horror game, but because I can kind of make fun of it, kind of-ish. And I, I want to do that. Uh, and I want you guys to enjoy that well. I hope you guys will enjoy that. And but I'm waiting for them to fix the save game glitches and, you know, see what other major game breaking glitches pop up before I pay for it. Uh, but once that happens, um I'm going to do that and it might show up on a recommends video. Uh, but that might wait because I even for 15 bucks, I probably will hold off on the recommending it. Um, like the, the, the playing with time machine thing, time machine. Yeah, it was singular because that confused the hell out of me. It's like playing with time machine. The sentence doesn't just, it doesn't fit. It feels like you should have an S at the end of that. It playing with time machines, plural, but it's singular because technically there's one time machine. Um, but, uh, if playing with time machine wasn't free, I wouldn't have recommended it. I enjoyed it because it, but the only reason I even paid for it was because it was free. Well, paid for it. The only reason I played it was because it was free. If I had to pay even $10 for it, I wouldn't have. Um, and I'm going to guess that the forest is the same thing. However, the forest does have a hell of a lot of potential. And I might break the nerd cube philosophy on that. Um, but that, that, that technically is it. Is it worth the money to me is the question. It's not, is it worth the money in general? It's worth the money to me. And I don't know yet. I'm heavily thinking about that, but I think I can have some fun with it. And I've rambled on long enough. I am on at minute 40. Um, though it's probably shorter than that for you guys because I cut out like the first minute of this while I was sitting there fiddling with the microphone and getting the timing right. And hopefully I did get the timing right. Um, 
So I'm going to end it here before I ramble on any further and I just run out of material for the next video I do. And I'm going to say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun.